everybody, welcome to the Top 10 Luxury Lifestyle Channel. Today we're going to go over the Fala Chen biography. We are lucky to be witnessing the coming of age of Asian cinema in the West. After a long, glorious history encompassing groundbreaking directors like the art house favorite Wong Kar Wai and Akira Kurosawa, thrilling martial artists such as Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, and a number of Korean heartthrobs, there is finally an actress who has managed to cross the boundary and arrive in Hollywood with a bang. We're referring to none other than the most talked about Asian actress, Fala Chen. This video is all about how she came to Hollywood, her journey, her aspirations, and personal life. Fala Chen has now become a household name in the U.S. and almost the entire Western world after the release of Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. This movie is Marvel Cinematic Universe's latest release, and within less than a month of its release, it has set box office records with around $100 million in ticket sales. If you are a movie lover and watch this movie in the theater, you must have noticed the talented Fala Chen. Shang-Chi is one of the best action movies from Marvel in recent years, but more than Simu Liu, the protagonist playing the character of Shang-Chi, and the antagonist Tony Leung, aka Xu Wen Wu, it is Fala Chen playing Ying Li, the mother of Shang-Chi and Xia Ling, who is quite impressive. As Ying Li, Chen serves as the driving force behind most of the story and portrays the character with the utmost strength and warmth. Even when Chen isn't gracing the screen, we can feel her presence. It is a great skill that comes only with years of experience in on-stage and on-screen performances. Chen's career encompasses it all as she has worked on every platform from TV to theater and movies in Hong Kong and the U.S. Early Life Fala Chen was born in mainland China but was raised in the United States, so she is a Chinese-American actress. Before joining the entertainment industry, this multi-talented actress could fluently speak English, Japanese, Mandarin, and Cantonese, and studied marketing and international business at Emory University's Goizueta Business School. Miss Chen graduated from the Atlanta-based business school in 2005. She made headlines after winning the Miss New York Chinese 2004 title. After her graduation, she participated in the Miss Chinese International pageant. It was hosted in Hong Kong by TVB, a local TV station. Fala represented New York and was the first runner-up. Later, when she talked about her decision to enter beauty contests, Fala Chen stated that it seemed like a promising start to her career as it made people notice her. Fala also claims that famous actresses like Maggie Chung, Anita Yuen, and Michelle Reese have been her role models since day one, and she wanted to follow in their footsteps. Fala revealed that she wanted to participate in a beauty contest back in 2002, mainly because she was attracted to the winner's multi-thousand dollar prize money, but it was in 2005 that she made it to the pageant. Her career After doing well in the contest, Fala signed an eight-year contract with TVB as a program host. Soon, she received numerous offers for supporting roles in dramas. She couldn't resist the temptation to be part of the glitzy industry and ended up appearing in several hit dramas, including Heart of Greed, No Regrets, The Stew of Life, and Steps. In 2011, Fala landed her first role as a lead character in the crime thriller series Lives of Omission, which involved a Chinese cop called Laughing Gore. Fala remained associated with TVB until 2013, and her last project with the station was the aviation drama Triumph in the Skies 2. The actress also starred in several Hong Kong movies, including The Turning Point in 2009, the 2013 flick Tales from the Dark 2, and the Cantonese version of Despicable Me 3, released in 2017. That's not all. As we mentioned earlier, Fala Chen has explored almost every domain of the entertainment industry, including theater. One of her most memorable stage performances was of Kira Hollis in the 2016 stage drama Skylight by David Hare. Moreover, Chen ventured into writing and directing in 2018 with the short film Passengers, in which she acted as well as directing and writing the movie. Passengers was a semi-finalist in the Sundance Film Festival's Hong Kong short film competition. Now it was time for Fala to think big and enter Hollywood. Her first Hollywood appearance was in 2020 with the HBO miniseries The Undoing. But nothing made her as popular among movie fans as her latest release with Marvel, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Fala's stint at Juilliard 
The best thing about Fala Chen is that she constantly tries to rediscover herself and learn new things. She felt that despite appearing in so many successful TV shows, she lacked confidence. So she decided to put her acting career on hold, a very risky decision, to attend the Juilliard School in New York City. Juilliard is arguably the most competitive institution for performing artists, which is why we can't blame her for applying to the coveted school. She quickly joined Juilliard, where she was the only Asian American out of the 17 students in her class. In one of her recent interviews, Fala Chen mentioned that the four years she spent at Juilliard were the most memorable and treasured time of her life so far. That's because she was away from the prying eyes of the paparazzi, didn't have to pay attention to critics' reviews or work on her appearance in front of the camera. All she had to focus on was her art. And the hard work paid off big time as, soon after graduating from Juilliard, Fala Chen received an offer from HBO for The Undoing, and there has been no looking back since then. Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant starred with her in the HBO movie, and then the unthinkable happened when Marvel Studios signed the 39-year-old actress for their all-Asian superhero flick. The producers had already signed the biggest stars of Hong Kong, so it turned out to be the chance of a lifetime for Fala Chen. Private life. Fala Chen is a naturally beautiful person. Still, she is known as the most modest person on the set and even beyond. People think she has a mature look, and Fala agrees. Maybe it's my body height and mature face. Most people think I am a feminine lady, Fala told Harper's Bazaar Hong Kong. But for those who know me well, they all find that I act and think like a boy most of the time. I'm not a confident person at all. The Chinese starlet was born in Chengdu, China, and stayed there until she turned 14, after which her family moved to the USA. However, even to this day, Fala feels a strong and deep bond with her roots and heritage. In an interview with Style, the actress admitted that she prefers reading books in Chinese and speaking Mandarin. I'm glad I was old enough to know the Chinese language and culture well enough. I still read books in Chinese regularly today, while yet not too old to become fluent in another language, the 39-year-old said. Fala Chen is married to a French entrepreneur and the founder of Bubble, Emmanuel Strasknolf. The two got married in 2019, and in February 2021, Fala gave birth to a beautiful daughter. Before that, Fala was married to businessman-turned-actor Daniel Sitt. The two married in 2008, but remained silent about their relationship for many years. They didn't even disclose when they tied the knot. In a recent interview, Daniel revealed that they kept their marriage under wraps because of Fala's career. The marriage was in conflict with the career. Not mine, but hers. So we kept it hidden. She has her own life now. It's over, Daniel said. According to sources, Fala and Daniel got married in the U.S., and the groom presented his bride with 10 million Hong Kong dollars in cash and a massive 6,800-square-foot mansion at their wedding. This fabulous mansion was located in Atlanta, Georgia, and cost Sitzai a whopping 760,000 U.S. dollars. This luxury mansion features seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, a billiard room, an A.V. room, a 30,000-square-foot garden covering the front and rear yard, two kitchens, and all possible amenities. No wonder this house is so luxurious, since Fala Chen had married into an affluent family and earned a massive following for herself in Hong Kong and the United States by that time. The couple also owned a $2.3 million mansion in Half Moon Bay, California, which they purchased in 2008. The property is located about a half mile away from Half Moon Bay and is spread over 30 acres. The house offers gorgeous views of the Pacific Ocean and the city. This single-story house boasts three bedrooms, two-and-a-half bathrooms, gigantic floor-to-ceiling windows, vaulted ceilings, a gourmet kitchen with a separate breakfast area, sunroom, formal and informal dining room, a home office, etc. The two parted ways officially in 2013. When it comes to vehicles, Fala Chen has a passion and penchant for luxury sports cars. However, she doesn't drive too often because once she drove through a red light and had points added to her driving record. Still, her love for high-end sports cars remains and she considers herself a car goddess. The reason she loves driving is that it instantly causes a girl to be noticed. When I'm driving, I like to be looked at and that my status is like a symbol. This represents me. Must be hot with personality. My friend's driving is pretty safe, and I am too. But among females, I am like a car goddess, Fala noted.
She is having an exceptional time these days. In July, her first American TV show, The Undoing, was nominated for an Emmy. And in September, her first mainstream Hollywood movie, Shang-Chi, was released. Fala believes that everything happens for a reason, and we only have to wait for the right time. There's always a plan. Even things that happen to you that feel like an obstacle or a disaster in the moment will pave the way for your next step. If you like this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. To learn more exclusive facts about your favorite personalities and luxury items, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time!